Hi everyone, it's Rapruto Mickey again, and today we have a great video on how to perform a trigger finger steroid injection. It is one of the most simple and common procedures that I perform in my office, and everyone should be able to perform this in a pain-free manner for the patient. Here's a plug for the channel. Hit subscribe and hit like to help out this channel. Just a viewer discretion, this video does show someone getting injected, so if you don't want to see that, please click away. So in this patient, we're going to be injecting the left ring finger. There are two lines that are going to help us decide where to inject the finger. The first line is the palmar distal flexion crease, which is defined by this dashed line that is red in the palm of the hand of this patient. The line marks the metacarpal phalangeal joint, which is where the A1 pulley is located and is where the trigger finger pathology is found as well. The second line is a line that defines the axis of the left ring finger. And this line can be demonstrated or seen in this picture as the red dotted line. The line goes down the center of the ring finger to the carpal tunnel. When the two lines are superimposed, you basically mark where the A1 pulley is found. And basically the injection should go in this little circle that we've drawn here and this will be in the area of the A1 pulley for the ring finger. Interestingly, the steroid injection does have a pretty wide effect and you don't have to necessarily inject two fingers that are adjacent that are both triggering. And in many cases, if we have a middle finger and a ring finger triggering at the same time, we just inject one of the fingers. The take home message is that you don't have to be perfect for your injection and you just have to be nearby to help your patient out. So here's the injection. We use a butane cold spray to provide a little anesthesia and then an alcohol swab to clean the skin. We then inject 20 milligrams of Kenalog 40 milligrams per ml into the left ring finger using a 25 gauge needle. We place a band-aid basically to absorb any minor amount of bleeding that might happen and the patient is uh, basically sent home at this point. The other tip for this injection is that you don't have to go very deep. You do not actually have to hit the tendon. You just have to be in the subcutaneous area to have a good result for your patient. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you on the next one.